If I want to help, what's the best way to help? If you want to help Haiti, um, the best thing to do is to come here and see it for yourself. And then I think that most people who come to Haiti, I would say most people, they fall, fall in love with the country and the people. They're wonderful people. It's a wonderful culture. It's a beautiful country. It's, you know, and I think that if you can come here and you see what's needed, then you'll know what to do with your money. Because when you sit on, you sit at home in some country, you're listening to these horrible stories, you're detached from what you're, what you're hearing. You can just say, I'll just give them a couple dollars. And you don't know if the money's reached these people, which often it does not reach them because it's somehow squandered around or, you know, like for example, there's all these international people here sitting in some sort of resort that they've made for themselves. They do not see what's happening to these people as they will, as I see happening when I've seen, when I've been in the streets. Come and see what's happening. It will change your life. It would educate you. People's ideas about Haiti has to change in order for them to help. Just giving your money is not enough. Re-educate yourself about the country because it's a wonderful place. No one's going to take you and put voodoo on you or kill you. That's not Haiti. These are stories that we've been hearing in the media. However, what's funny about this whole issue is that lots of people, Caucasian and Europeans come here and buy land and build these resorts for themselves, private resorts, these amazing homes for themselves, and then they keep it for their families and their friends, and they vacation here, and they're not, they don't feel unsafe. So I really feel like there's something to be said about that. Why would you buy property here? And then you keep saying, it's unsafe, it's not good. The minute you put on Haiti on the internet, it says not to come here. It's a bad place. But then again, there's all these people here who owns home that is beyond, you know, expensive, that's luxurious, but they come here with their families and their friends. It's a fake vacationing home. Oh, how, how bad can Haiti be if they're doing that? So I think there's something really wrong with that picture. And then when you go down the hill and then you see these, you know, half million dollar homes being owned by these Europeans or people from who are not from here exploiting the country, but then they're saying it's horrible to come. I think that's really terrible. It's contradicting. It's a contradicting. It's very terrible. But that's what's making this country like this, the way it is. Thank you very much for your time. I agree in every word you said. Thank and you. I've only been here three days. Yeah, it's, I mean, I haven't felt like my life was threatened. I've been here for, um, for about three days now too, just as well as you. And people are just looking to live. You know, some of them would resort to violence. That would be anywhere. It doesn't make them any different because it's Haiti. But they just want to live. Don't we all want to live? What makes it so different for them that they want to live? Do they not have the right to want something better or to live from one day to the next? You know? Anyway. Thank you. You're welcome.